Abhijnya SKT, Pali, Abhinya, Tib, Mngon Shis, Chinese, Lu Tong Lu Shen Tong has been translated generally as knowing, direct knowing, and direct knowledge, or, at times more technically, as higher knowledge and supernormal knowledge. In Buddhism, such knowing and knowledge is obtained through virtuous living and meditation. In terms of specifically enumerated knowledges, these include worldly extra-sensory abilities such as seeing past and future lives as well as the supramundane extinction of all mental intoxicants asava. <laughs> Pali literature In Pali literature, abhinya refers to both the direct apprehension of dhamma translated below as states and qualities as well as to specialized supernormal capabilities topic <inaudible> <inaudible> direct knowing of dhamma in sn 45.159 the buddha describes higher knowledge abhinya as a corollary to the pursuit of the noble eightfold path a monk who cultivates the Noble Eightfold Path, who assiduously practices the Noble Eightfold Path, comprehends with higher knowledge those states that are to be so comprehended, abandons with higher knowledge those states that are to be so abandoned, comes to experience with higher knowledge those states that are to be so experienced, and cultivates with higher knowledge those states that are to be so cultivated. What, monks, are the states to be comprehended with higher knowledge? They are the five groups of clinging. Which five? The body group, the feeling group, the perception group, the mental formation group, the consciousness group. What, monks, are the states to be abandoned with higher knowledge? They are ignorance and the desire for further becoming. And what, monks, are the states to be experienced with higher knowledge? They are knowledge and liberation. And what, monk, are the states to be cultivated with higher knowledge? They are calm and insight. Such direct knowledge, according to the Buddha, is obscured by desire and passion. Chandaraga. Monks, any desire passion with regard to the eye is a defilement of the mind. Any desire passion with regard to the ear, the nose, the tongue, the body, the intellect is a defilement of the mind. When, with regard to these six bases, the defilements of awareness are abandoned, then the mind is inclined to renunciation. The mind fostered by renunciation feels malleable for the direct knowing of those qualities worth realizing. Topic. Enumerations of special knowledges In the Pali Canon, the higher knowledges are often enumerated in a group of six or of three types of knowledge. The six types of higher knowledges are Higher powers, iddhi vidha, such as walking on water and through walls. Divine ear, dibha soda, that is, clairaudience. Mind penetrating knowledge. Sito Parinyana, that is, telepathy. Remember one's former abodes. Pubi Navasanasati, causal memory, that is, recalling one's own past lives. Divine Eye, Dibha Kaku, that is, knowing others' karmic destinations, and extinction of mental intoxicants. Asavakaya, upon which arahantship follows, the attainment of these six higher powers is mentioned in a number of discourses, most famously the Fruits of Contemplative Life Discourse. Samanyafala Sutta, DN2. The first five powers are obtained through meditative concentration samadhi while the sixth is obtained through insight vipassana. The sixth type is the ultimate goal of Buddhism, which is the end of all suffering and destruction of all ignorance. According to the Buddha, indulgence in the abhinhas needs to be avoided, as they can distract from the ultimate goal of enlightenment. Similarly, the three knowledges or wisdoms or tivya are Remember one's former abodes. Pubi Navasanasati. Divine Eye. Dibha Kaku, and Extinction of Mental Intoxicants. Asavakaya. The three knowledges are mentioned in numerous discourses, including the Maha Sakaka Sutta, MN36, in which the Buddha describes obtaining each of these three knowledges on the first, second, and third watches, respectively, of the night of his enlightenment. 
These forms of knowledge typically are listed as arising after the attainment of the fourth jhana, while such powers are considered to be indicative of spiritual progress. Buddhism cautions against their indulgence or exhibition since such could divert one from the true path of obtaining suffering's release. Topic: <laughs> Parallels in other cultures. The first five types of abhijna, are similar to the siddhas of yoga in Hinduism, mentioned in the Bhagavata Purana and by Patanjali. Knowing the past, present and future. Tolerance of heat, cold and other dualities. Knowing the minds of others. Checking the influence of fire, sun, water, poison, and so on. Remaining unconquered by others. See also